Mayor Curry today laid, laid out his new budget, and it does not call for any increase in any taxes or fees. However, the mayor may not get the last word on that because some city council members are already warning that is a possibility. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott is joining us live now from City Hall, where money talk is certainly a lot different than it was this time last summer, Jim. You know, it definitely is. You know, I've been covering these budget presentations for over 30 years, and this was the most unique. Not only was it virtual, but the mayor didn't take any questions, not even from council members or reporters. This year's budget is unique in many ways. It comes in the middle of a pandemic and social unrest. The economy is slow because of the shutdown. This year, the mayor is proposing spending $1.3 billion. That's about $100 million more than last year. With this budget, I maintain a top spending priority for public safety. As in past years, this includes men and women who wear the uniforms and protect all of us. For example, we have included funding for renovations to fire stations as well as for brand new stations. We're adding important emergency response vehicles and equipment. But this budget also includes prevention and intervention programs like Sure, violence. 250 million of the budget is for capital improvements, city projects like a new library, an oceanway, and a new fire station. 100 million of that is targeted to go to Northwest Jacksonville, where promises made during consolidation over 50 years ago were never kept. There will be an emphasis on road, sewer, and drainage projects. But the mayor was vague about funding. He left the meeting before council members could ask about that. Still, Councilman Garrett Dennis questioned the mayor's second in command, Brian Hughes. The mayor did not talk about how much debt are we taking on with this $1.34 uh, $1 billion budget? Uh, are there any tax increases? Are there any fees that's being increased? Uh, disguised uh, or tax increases, but, but being disguised as fee increases. We need to know that. Uh, there are no tax or fee increases in this budget. Um, City Council certainly would have the ability to uh, change that if they'd like. And Council President Tommy Hazuri talked about that as well. I think we need the flexibility, depending on what the pandemic does between now and October 1. So all of this now is into the hands of city council. They're going to debate it through the summer. Then at the end of September, they'll vote on that final budget. Coming up all new at 6, we're going to hear more about what council is saying about a possible tax increase and where a lot of this money will go in northwest Jacksonville. We're live at City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.